Hello, World News for Tuesday. I'll try and be a bit quicker. Over in the States, unemployment rate for adults aged 25 to 34, so young adults. And the idea from this by Planet Money, who I listen to their podcast, they're quite fun. High school only unemployment rate has risen from 6% to nearly 14% where college graduates, just over 2% is now 5%. Um, So it's still worth going on to college, but for how much longer? Moving over to Europe, youth unemployment from a Der Spiegel article with low youth unemployment being anything in single figures. So that's Netherlands, Germany and Austria, the real core of Europe. Uh, quite low is Malta, which is only a bit about this big, Slovenia and Luxembourg. Okay, normal sort of youth unemployment in Europe is about 20%. France, Cyprus, Estonia, Finland, Belgium. That's normal youth unemployment. High youth unemployment in Portugal, Italy and Ireland with around 30%. Portugal, Italy and Ireland around 30% and very high Slovakia, Greece and Spain where it's hovering around 40%. BIS warns low rates may create financial distortions. Sure, George. Um, So the BIS, this is an article from the BBC. The Bank for International Settlements has warned that low interest rates across the globe are a threat to world financial stability. (laughs) As if raising them wouldn't be as well. The financial world is just unstable at the moment. The BIS warned low cost of borrowing had resulted in a credit and property price boom that was fueling inflation, especially in emerging economies. Why not? The West's done it. Give the East a go. Central banks across the globe have cut interest rates in an attempt to boost growth after the 2008 financial crisis. They have, and they're not succeeding very well, are they? However, BIS warned that the policy may prove to be counterproductive. Gosh, what a shock. The prolonged period of very low interest rates entails the risk of creating serious financial distortions, misallocations of resources and delay in the necessary deleveraging in those advanced countries most affected by the crisis, said the bank in its annual report. So let's go to the bank's annual report. Um, It's huge. But I'll take a little bit out of one small section of it that gives us the blindingly obvious or the repeats what we've said so many times before. The debt to income ratio of households and other sectors can be reduced in essentially four ways. We often say three, but they're the Bank of International Settlements, so they can go to four. Repayment. (laughs) <laughs> by paying it paying it back that's a way of repaying it back is by paying it back you can default or have write-offs or debt forgiveness you know default debt forgiveness in other words you say you're not going to pay or the people that you're expect that are expecting to be paid say i know you're not going to be pay, paying me three higher real disposable incomes in other words um, we don't need to explain that you get more money so you can pay off the debts and number four is inflation marvelous and um oh dear i should have a chart in there oh the chart's there i'll have to sort that out later okay so this is the same in the bis just lower down shockingly badly put together document but their bankers and economists they not anyway This household debt ratio, it's not so much the ratios for Ireland, Spain, United Kingdom, United States. We know that they've gone way up through 100%, over 200% in Ireland and 150, 150 and over 100 in the United States. Not so much that. It's an interesting enough chart. But as I've um, underlined and highlighted in yellow, you know these charts normally have the grey vertical bars for recessions in them 
it's just a standard thing i think started by the um the central banks in america but everyone has recessions this vertical bar is the vertical line marks 15th of september 2008 the date on which lehman brothers filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy protection now this is in the bis um, annual doc i think that is a dangerous thing to be putting in there because now the people that are serious you know the people wear the right hats that are serious about this shit read the bis thing which is top top line stuff see that they're putting the line in for the lehman disaster so who is ever going to accept another lehman disaster who's going to let say just let them go bankrupt again who can when they know that the, the bis you know um three years later and are, are now putting this in as a line as a demarcation line in their graphs to show something of mega importance that's happened and it's through through most all of their charts you read through the doc i i, th I think that's a very bad bit of thinking okay so i've got to go backwards for this this looks like it's the irish independent yeah the irish independent report so we're in ireland obviously because it's the irish independent reports that government may run into resistance from the european authorities and the imf with its plan to use the billions left over from the banking bailout to fund the exchequer just regular sort of funding the irish independent has learned the coalition has not yet secured permission for the scheme several weeks after it floated the idea of using some of the 35 billion euro originally earmarked for the bank to fund general state spending okay more better explained in the last paragraph the measure has not yet been formally put to the so-called troika the eu ecb and imf overseeing ireland's bailout and it may meet opposition from some of those authorities authorities who don't want to see the banking kitty emptied they lots of the bailout money that went to ireland was specifically for the banks and they're saying that is for the banks can't we use some of it just for general? no that is for the banks so it's just to reiterate oh, you don't need to be reiterated upon okay pass that one meanwhile the number of high net worth individuals in ireland is soaring the latest world wealth report shows not all in the financial don't not all are in the financial doldrums in ireland the country had 19,000 high net worth individuals in 2010 which is up five percent from the 2009 AFP gives us, we're going out into the world now, Egypt has withdrawn its loan request to the IMF and World Bank, an advisor to Finance Minister bleep 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 said on Saturday. They, they had asked for money, but it says at the bottom, pressure of public opinion has made them drop the request for funds from the IMF. Interesting. China Daily measures urged to manage inflationary expectations. Beijing, as China tightens monetary policies to rein in liquidity and curb inflation, experts gathering at the second global think tank summit on Sunday urged the Chinese government to adopt measures to control the long-term market supply and demand to manage inflationary expectations. Please, the authorities in China bunch of bastards that you are control everything properly do you think they will do you think they can nah of course they can't inflation if you believe the figures hasn't really taken off too badly in china but you can't believe the figures so you really don't know hindustan times we're in india this will hurt double digit inflation looms over the economy and um because the fuel prices have gone up it's going to push the indian inflation through the 10 percent mark it was just under 10 and with fuel going up it's going to go up through the 10 percent mark now that is getting to be dangerous inflation and i think we can probably presume that it's the same in china but they're just lying i say so in pakistan this is the one we're finishing with okay i was going to read all this see how we go energy crisis big hurdle in economic growth 
in Islamabad, the Pakistan Economy Watch, Pew, said on Sunday that alternative forms of energy are becoming more cost competitive with conventional fuels, therefore government should accelerate the pace of its development. Energy crisis is greatest bottleneck in supply of resources to our economy. It's the biggest problem, um, bigger pro um, I won't read it all because you probably couldn't give a shit about Pakistan. Uh, I'll read the last bit. These rural people are barred from the benefits of electricity and stopped from mechanization of farms for greater productivity which keep them poor. Fuck them, eh? But it says in there, quite practically, and they've obviously thought about this, that if we don't do it now, we certainly won't have the money to do it in the future because the price of everything is really going up. It's practical, but I think reading the the thing there, you could see they they were saying this is what you must do and you must do it now. But the between every line was, but you're not going to, are you? <laughs>